I'm so pretty and witty. <laughs> I told him his job is just to sit here and look pretty. I'm doing a fantastic job. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amanda. This is Michael, if you're new here. And the pretty one. Yeah. <laughs> and today I have a thrift haul for you. I went thrifting on January the 2nd because I was having major FOMO. All my reselling friends out shopping saying that the first week in January is the best day to go because everyone donated all their crap the week after Christmas. And um, my Goodwills had Christmas 50% off. So I'm like, you know what? I have to go. So I ran in and... This is what I got. And you, I don't believe, have seen this yet. So it's like, it'll be like Christmas You're gonna to You're going to get to see my yes. first impressions. I am. All right. Be so bad. this, um, and I, it's been so long now that honestly, I don't know if there's a receipt in here. I usually average my cost of goods. Um, so I might not be able to tell you prices on this haul until I find a receipt. Okay. If it shows up, we'll let them know. Yes. But y'all know I try to be cheap, so this how cute this ties in the back this is just a what is this there's a brand hold on holding it is called charming mary size it's a size six i got this to keep for my daughter for next year it reminds me of well-dressed wolf omi joe very similar um so that is for us to keep for one more year this is born primitive and I have picked this up before. You guys saw me pick this up um, very recently, a purple one, and I had a, I couldn't remember what the brand name was. I remembered today, but because it is very um, Christmas colors, yeah, it was. Those CrossFitters that like to work out on Christmas day. Yeah, it was half off. Now this, I did try to be a little bit picky with my, um, you know, I didn't want to bring anything home that cost over $5. I wasn't gonna bring me at least 30. That was kind of in my mind. So this was one I'd never heard of. The brand is Torn by Romy Kobo. I don't know. Here's the tag. I looked it's a it weird up. Looking this material. dress is selling. It's new with the tags. I don't know if it shows up on um, the camera. It's well, it's been a little while since I looked up the comps, but it was definitely selling for like eighty bucks or so, maybe a little more. Don't quote me to that, but it's just it's like a neoprene. Yeah, so type it looks like a wetsuit with laser cut. Yes, but the stock photo is gorgeous. Like, I wish I would want to wear something like this because it looks so pretty. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the comps were really good on this. So Probably really comfortable because it looks like it's super sharpie. Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember what I found. Oh. You don't even know what you bought? I showed you this. This? Yes. Right? I pulled oh, this out and showed this it to you. this one piece you did. You know what? I just now realized what this is. I think that I typed all this inventory out. I'm like, have I already filmed a haul of this stuff? But I haven't because... But I remember this shirt because I said I wanted that yes, shirt. Yes. Like, we had babies, like, five years too late. All the You're cool the one taking the camera, by the way, yes. not me. Okay, well, can, you handed this to me. Can you hold it? Sure. Thanks. See how this goes, people? All right, this Every brand day. is Lalaboo. Um, and this is a size large. This is a men's shirt for holding your baby. It's got a pouch. It has a pouch, and the baby goes right in here, and this holds their little head up. So if you're local... And have a baby. Oh my gosh, Michael want he's like, I I'll want to hold my baby in this. Child. But it has to be little, like a newborn. Like you would have rocked the heck out of this. He loved baby wearing. He loves babies. Well, I mean, it was easy. Like yeah. your hands were free. So for these activity. are eighty dollars on their website and they definitely hold their value. They sell for forty to fifty. Um, so if you ever see that, they do make some mom items too, but their website it's a very tiny website. Like they don't have a lot of options. Excuse me, our son needs to get his elbows off the table, please, because it's also shaking our camera. Thank yes. you. And matter of fact, it's finished that chapter. It's Yeah, it's 9.30, dude. Mm. School night. Yeah. All right. This is another brand I had yes. never heard of. Love you. Doe and Ray. This is a size large. I just thought this was really cute. Perfect for spring. Y'all know I love me some Lily. Gave me Lily vibes. But again, I, I looked it up. Can't tell you what it's going for now. But... Um, these items will be getting listed this weekend, so the link to my shop is below, and that's where it will go. You good? You got ants in the pants. I do. I just, you're squirmy. Yeah. All right. All right. This is Victoria's Secret Country. I have a robe listed by this, too. This is um, a vintage tag, vintage Victoria's Secret. It's got, like, the hook and eye closures. Now, there are some stains on this, but honestly, like, I wear my sweet honey gowns to bed are my favorite. Like, I love nightgowns. Uh, so I might have to try this on and keep it for a little while, but See that? it's like a waffle knit. Okay. Well, it, like, it looked like, uh, someone that does cross stitch. Oh yeah. Is what it looked like. 
I don't know if that was their intent or not, but it gives me that This vibe. is another one I got to keep. This is Hannah Anderson. They had this with their Christmas stuff. So um, I, I thought at first it was, they had it with the pajamas section, but I'm pretty sure it's just a Christmas dress. But I like to take my kiddos to lots of different festivals and such. So um, they have a bin, a holiday bin, very easily accessible. This is Rails. I've not found uh, Rails in a dress before. So I thought it was really cute. It definitely gave me like 90s vibes. What was that show, Blossom? Like I just feel like the way that these buttons mm. are, you just need your little hat to go with it. That's so Blossom. Um, maybe I showed, oh, I think I showed my mom this one. I'm like, I, I know, I feel like I did a show of this stuff already, but I, my mom wanted to know what I got. Yeah, say, because for me, it was just that shirt. You like So I went next door, my website. mom lives next door, and I did this exact thing for her. I should have set up a camera. This is um, the Beaufort, Beaufort Bonnet Company. Good one to know for kid stuff. This is just a pair of pajamas. Here, it's, it's typed out. Sometimes you'll see it typed out. Other times you'll see that monogram. This was probably my best find of the day. It is Jam's World. And I don't know if this is vintage or not. I've actually never found the brand before. It does. It is still new with the tags. It was sold at like one of those little beach type stores actually. Okay, in, yes, I've never heard of this. On Flagler Avenue in New Smyrna Beach is where this was sold. Oh, um, we've been there. Yeah. So it is, is it one size? No, it's a size extra, extra large. Like a really colorful, gorgeous. So this cover is a, a cover up, a dress. I don't know, um, but I know that this brand can go for a lot. I don't know about this one yet, but I was excited to find that. Ooh, I know what those are. Do you? What are they? Bionics. They are Bionics. And shoes are getting quite expensive at most of my Goodwill, so I was shocked. Yeah. See, these were only $4.99. I'm like, mm, someone priced that wrong because these at the Goodwill I went to the other day would have been $24.99. I'm telling you, it's out of control. But they are in like perfect condition. Yeah, they look really good. I have I've had the thong style of these, and these rhinestones do come off. So I definitely made sure that they were all still there. These two things, um, actually there was three. We've already played one. Um, we have maybe we haven't played it yet. The new, the new game, the furry one. We haven't played it. Where did it go? It just got open. It's in the drawer. Okay. So my son is a Boy Scout and they have a white elephant party and oh, we also awesome. host a white elephant party. And anyway, this year he asked for me to buy, uh, what's that game called? Exploding Kittens. Yes. Listen, it, whether you're adults, have kids, don't have kids, like you need to get that game. It's it fun. It's super fun. It can up to five players. We're a family of five, so it's perfect. And it's one of those games that once you get down to the deck, you're done. So it's not a game that's going to go on and on and on. Oh, so anyway, seat, we found another game like that. Anyway, I knew that this year he would need some kind of white elephant. And so these are going to just live in the closet. I don't know. I have to make sure that it's appropriate for kids. Yeah, because the other one was not. Line. <laughs> Exploding like Kittens babies. is. And this one's Deadpool versus the world. And I did scan this one on eBay and I could, this is selling for like 20 bucks or so on eBay. That one would not be kid friendly. This is not? Well, the uh, movie is definitely not. Oh, it says ages 17 and yeah. up there. So anyway, maybe that'll be for our own white elephant party. We'll see. I like to keep a stockpile of gifts for birthday parties, various things. Here's my receipt. Yes. Oh, 20 items. I'm so glad that I have this. I already did the, the math. $5.55 cost of goods. Per. So, Piece. yeah. Okay. All right. This is all. All, a couple pairs of shoes. I can't shoes get to the other one yet. I can get it for you. That's okay. Oh, okay. Yep, see? So, I need to do some leather cleaning. Found these. Oh, did you try these on yet? I know, I'm always no. trying to get him to keep stuff. These are Uggs, in case you missed it. I've not tried those boots. But yet. I know that he needs a new pair of brown dress shoes, because the last time he wore a brown, didn't he throw them away? They're like falling apart. Maybe. Anyway, these are an 11 and a half. Just nice, buttery soft. I'm not sure I own any. I don't know how worn they're supposed to look, but I think they look pretty cool. And here's the bottoms. So, the, I mean, I don't know what they looked like originally, but... Hmm. And I, I already took the price tags off everything. These... Are your matching ones? <laughs> no, I wish. I could just tell that these look like a nice solid... At first, I thought they were going to be fry. 
I was just about to ask for any product. No, they look like the harness boots from Fry, but this is the Vintage Foundry Co. Well, they are tiny. They're only a size six and a half, but they're just quality. Like you can just in the feel of them. So I picked these up. Okay. These were probably my best find. Like I was excited. I, it's rare that I, if ever, that I find Tory Burch at any of our stores. Um, these are, I did look these up and these aren't selling for nearly as much as say the Miller sandals or whatever, but they're still selling. So, um, you know, I thought they were cute. And what size are they? I was gonna tell little. You. They are little. I don't know. I think that the size is on this little sticker that I can't see very well right now. So I'll have to do some digging, but I wasn't going to leave them behind because I'm pretty sure that they were marked at like $3.99. Hmm. And one last pair of shoes, but I do have one other little bag. I stopped at the second Goodwill on the way home and I had like 10 minutes. Hold on, don't get it yet because it's going to oh, shake everything. sorry. All right. I these, I didn't check comps on these because it was about to close and I just thought you know, at the price I'd be able to get. Usually like women's shoes, you can get like 30 bucks, like 25 to 35 bucks, they're in good shape. This is the brand Barbara Barberi. I don't know, made in Italy. I looked them up once I got home. They were only selling like around 25 or so, but still springtime. I like a good, nice leather shoe. I don't buy shoes that aren't real leather. So if you see them on my closet, it's cause they came in a thread up shoe box, but all right, one last bag, okay. but he's gonna have to shake all the things. Maybe. Maybe not. There's only three items, I think, in this bag. Um, so this one, I need to inventory. No. Oh, you know why? Because I bought some stuff for your mom this day. I bought some other so stuff you're, you're this day. There, yeah. This was before Christmas. This bag was, has been shoved in our laundry room. So okay. this was from before Christmas. And I just found it when I was cleaning, putting away Christmas. So, um, yeah. So I got this Peloton hat. I did look it up. It was selling. Um, they wanted $3.99 for it, so it needs a little bit of a wipe down because it's dusty, but well, these are pretty cool. It's, you guys have heard me say before, we don't really find snow boots like North Face, Sorel boots. If we do, they're like someone bought them, took them on one vacation, and they're, they're like, well, why am I keeping these? I live in Orlando, Florida. I do not need them, but these are cool. Um, they're they're like a fleece line. women size eight. Yeah, they have this really nice lining in there. Yeah, um, comfy they've warm. got like a little bit of dirt on that's what you're like they, they just literally need a wipe down so they were worn once yeah and they were 12.99 but i can't remember if blue was the color of the week i don't know now, but these are cool these are cool this is the last item quick video today um these are cool for sure as soon as i saw i saw this side of the shoe when i came around the corner i'm like those are buzz lightyear um, that's his favorite Disney character. If you didn't know, check these out. These are so amazing. They are the, they say light strike, free to create. I mean, look at the back of these. Not my size though. Oh yeah. Look in, so look, show them that one. Cause it's different. Oh, okay. So it's got the clouds and you got to find me. Oh says, yeah. And it says Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. And this and one fun. says laser laser yeah and so, then the iconic andy yeah i did look soul. these up and these are a kids size four um if they were the adult ones they're going for over 100 bucks these I, they need a little bit of a wipe down but i'm not going to throw them in the washer like i sometimes do they i'm just going to magic eraser a little bit yeah um, but i think these good. were still going for like 70 60 70 something like that good find um yeah they have the you see the aliens all around the edge yeah the so claw. cool yeah so i was excited when i just refound these in the just in the bag right now <laughs> yeah no in the laundry room before this haul ah. All right, well, there you have it. Quick little haul from us today. And you're gonna see this video and an another haul video that you may or may not have already seen in the last week or so. But spoiler, um, we have already recorded my first bins haul. I do, after this these couple trips, realized our prices are like out of control here. Um, the haul, the last video was like a hole in the wall kind of place, but Goodwill has lost their minds. Like, right, you agree? I mean. Yeah, yeah, because I would not buy anything from there. I, as a non-reseller, like if I was just in there, like their prices are still 
redonkulous. So I went the other the day that stuff's in. to my previous favorite store and like the shoes were all 25. I found a pair of, I don't remember the brand name now, but it was a designer ish, like, like a Tory Burch kind of designer. So not like super cheap, but not, and they wanted $49.99 for them. I mean, it was just crazy. They were beat up, like beat up. Uh, so I went to the bins and I decided that that is going to be my business model for this year. We're going to try something new. Um, I'm going to stop paying up for so many things. I am still going to order bulk boxes from ThreadUp, the kids box, the 200 pound box. Can't help yourself. Well, and then and, and the people want them. They love them. The but, people yes. want it. Um, and I, I love a good mystery and the fun boxes when I can. Yeah, I love having those four huge boxes get delivered. But I've gotten pretty good at getting through them. And, and so I'm not ordering those anytime soon. But we are going to start just sourcing at the bins and seeing how my numbers look in a couple of months instead of. So I'm just trying to drop my cost of goods, even though between the last two hauls, I had $5 one day, $1.25, and this one was $5. So I do hover around the $5 mark for my average cost of goods when I'm thrifting at regular thrift stores, which isn't terrible, but that's because I'm often buying kids stuff or a hat, you know? And, and so anyway, just a heads up, if you're someone who likes watching bins hauls, those will be coming They're for coming you. Your way. Yes, yes. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.